Hey everyone, today we are going to be building or coding a Discord bot with Python. And I feel like I keep on hearing this word uh, bot, bot, bot all over the news and just throughout social media because Elon Musk is obviously uh, looking to acquire Twitter or wherever that's at right now. And it just always makes me think of bot. I have it in my head and that's why we're going to build a Discord bot today, an Elon Musk Discord bot in Python. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech coding career videos. And okay, let's just get coding. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to discord.com dash or slash developers slash applications. And as you can see here, I already have created an Elon bot before. It was really fun and I wanted to go through it once uh, before we went through the tutorial. So from there, we are going to navigate to new application and name our application. What should we name this one? We're doing another Elon one. I guess let's do Elon. Oh, okay. That was way too fast. Elon Musk bot. There we go. And then from there, one thing that's really important to keep is so I did just change the name. So I want to go to save changes and from there navigate to bot, add bot. And as you can see here, adding a bot gives user, adding a bot user gives your app visible life in discord. So we say, yes, do it. And there we go. A wild bot has appeared for me. For some reason, the token always has been coming in like this. So I always need to reset the token. But the next thing to do, which is really important is get your token. I haven't done anything with it yet, so it's fine. Copy that and put it somewhere safe for now. So for me, I'm just going to put it on a different screen in my notepad because that will come into hand later. Okay, so next up, we need to invite our bot to uh, into a server, into a channel that we have. So for that, we go to OAuth2. And URL generator. Yes, in URL generator, let's go to click on bot and then it will give a lot of different bot permissions. So we need a few permissions. We want to read messages and view channels. What else do I have written here? We also want send messages, manage me messages, a lot of messages. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do select a few and then you can really choose whichever ones you want. We want to embed links. Okay, so that is pretty much what I want for my permissions. Let's see, I think I got send messages and threads. Yes, we want that. Okay. Now we need to copy the uh, generated URL at the bottom here. Copy. And next we go into our browser and just paste the URL. So as you can see here, an external application, Elon Musk bot connected to Discord. And as you can see, you can add a server. You have to have a server first. So if you don't have a server, if you just signed up to Discord and you don't have a server, you will need to do that. For this, I'm going to add it to the server I already created, which is Elon server for bots. And then we go continue. For this, confirm you want to grant all the following. Yes, authorize. I am human. Despite what you might think, I am human. And okay, click on each one, I'm just gonna hang your boat. And don't fail this to me, it's embarrassing. There we go, okay, authorized. Now we can close that window. And next up, we want to go to REPL. I have it open here, as you can see. And we want to create a new REPL, of course, in Python. So here, add. Python, name of it, let's do Elon Musk Bot. I will link this REPL down below as well so you can follow along with it. Create REPL. Okay. First thing we need to do is import Discord. So import Discord. And let's just run that so it installs. And we also want to import OS, well, I guess it's already installing. Then we want to have a variable client, which will be equal to discord. This, this is a method client, there we go. 
And then next what we are going to do is a client event. So let's go here. Give me a sec here. Sorry, let's pause this. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry, Paul's cleaning his closet and he needed a step ladder. This is the reality of filming from home. Okay, so as we were saying, We have logged in as whatever user it is, format client. Okay, okay. And why don't we like this? Oh, we didn't put the dot. This is what happens when you code without glasses. Do not do that. It is a very dangerous thing. And what do we have here? We're, not, we're just like, this is not our day, you guys. It's okay, we'll get there. We still don't like this. We don't really like now. There we go, we're okay. It's like, oh gosh. Okay, so next up we have the client event already print and that, and then we are going to do another client event. If message dot author, aka the bot, um, is equal to the client dot user, I'm sorry, that's the bot, return. And let's do it again, if message uh, dot content starts with Oops, starts with. And what this will do is, so if someone in the chat says this word, whether it be hello or there's a specific trigger word, that is when the bot will then respond. So for this, let's do starts with hello. I feel like that's a pretty basic one, so we can always spam them with the bot. Okay, so hello. Then what we are going to be doing is await message dot channel dot send, what are we going to send back? Well, obviously we're going to send back a famous Elon Musk quote, or what good are we? So let's go and find Elon famous. Yes. He was worried that Twitter is a disincentive to reach them. Ooh. Hmm. Trying to find a good one here. Okay, we'll do this one. Twitter has a disincentive to reduce spam as it reduces perceived daily users. Once again, you can put whatever you want here. We'll just start with this. So go here. And then he also added, it is. So from there we have this, and then we want to do client.run. Okay, here.run. And here is where we are going to put the token. So for this, what you used to be able to do is um, make an environment uh, folder here, add file, and then it's a .env, something similar to like this. Um, now, REPL, I found out yesterday, has removed that. So I am going to blur out my token, I guess, because, I mean, you already, I guess, yeah, I'll blur it out. Um, but basically, I'm just going to take out all of this and just put my direct token directly in here. Obviously, for um, for your purposes, put it in an environment folder, but I'm just doing this for 
uh, the coding tutorial purposes. But what I will say is when I post this to REPL, it will be removed, but you get the point. I don't even know if there's really anything bad you can do with this token at this point, but regardless, I will get my editor to blur it out. And we have no colon here. We're really missing everything today. Here we go. There we go. Let's run this. Client.event. What are we doing wrong? Client.event. Oh no, it's not. Oh my gosh. Let's run this. Nice, we have logged in as Elon Musk Buff, number 8723. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So what do we do next? Now we need to go to back to our Discord. Let's just go to the main Discord though. Open Discord, last time we were in the developer one. And then from there, we are going to go to the server. This is the Elon Musk Bot server. And as you can see, Elon Musk Bot was added. So and you have to make sure you do have full permissions to add bots to the channel you are doing. So if Harry and Muggs, if you understand who Harry and Muggs are, you are an OG, meaning they are my two wonderful dogs. Um, so if someone types in hello, Elon responds, Twitter has a disincentive, disincentive to reduce spam as it reduces perceived end users. It is suspicious. I think it's fun, it's really cool. And you can really add on to this. This is just a quick tutorial, but imagine doing this in a Discord server that you have created. And if someone says hello or enters the chat for the first time, you can say a nice welcome message. There's so much you can do with this and it's so simple. So as I mentioned, I will link the REPL down below so you can follow along with it as well. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial of building a Discord bot in Python. It was something I've really wanted to do before and I didn't realize just how simple it is. So I hope you found it enjoyable and helpful. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave in the comments other videos you wanna see. What else should we build next? Okay, I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone.